Hello everyone and welcome back to Dex with me, Tommy Toast 75 At the moment, we're in Redwood Watts headquarters. We're, uh, we're breaking our way and looking for, um, stuff. Do you know what? I forgot the actual plot. There's a reason to be here. It's to stop them from taking over the world or something like that. It's it's gripping. Truly it is. I could go underneath. Let's have a look around. Through the tunnel was them guys I saw. Oh. Right, because I can't actually see them, I can't actually see them. That makes sense. But I can detect them. Oh, that's no good. See, the armoured guy... I don't know, it might make sense to take him out first. Um, there's no turrets that I can hack. If I could hack a turret, the turret would do my dirty work for me, but... There isn't one. Tell you what I'll do, I'll hack these two guys first. Because I think... Don't do that. Yeah, I knew one of them would be armed. They're both armed, oh good. Well, if I keep stunning them, then they'll stop shooting me for a bit. Which is, uh... There we go. I might stun him as well, why not? Why not? Why ever not? It lets me attack him. And them two are back on form again. Ah, but because these aren't the armoured guys, I can in fact... Got them. I can... Uh, damn. Come on, get up. Take another beat in. Right, good. Mm, oh, yeah, there is loot. Okay. Seems that I can get up. He heard that. Him up there. Right, I'm gonna have to... I'll stun him, then I can run up to him. One, oh, pressed it wrong. Pressed the wrong button, didn't I? Like a fool. Try again. There. There we go. And there we go. Got a bit of ammo. Right. Now. Oh, I could have hidden there. Didn't see that. Hmm. Oh. He turned around. He's Damn it. I'm going to stun you as well, because I can, and, 
Ow. Stop doing that. Come on, nearly down. They're not very tough, are they, really? For the armour they're wearing, they're not tough at all. Anyway, we've got some doors to choose from. Let's, let's take this end door. Nothing hidden over here. Oh, I can't go through the door. Silly me. What's this one, then? Yeah, nothing there. It's just a door from one level to the next. For anyone who doesn't have super jump. Right, I'm going in at the top. Here. Mitchell's office should be up there. But if you want to use that footage against him, you need to get into Crash's office first and upload the footage there. I'll try to work my magic for the rest. Right, so where's Crash's office? Let's have a scout around. Nothing up there. Unless I can go over the top. There's a dude. There's some more dudes. And a dude. Okay, so I'm guessing... Yes, there's the security HQ. This will be Mitchell. So we've got to go and... Well, we don't have to go and get Crash first, but... I think I will. Let's go find Crash's office. This is it. GSV-2's behind those doors. But you're not getting in until you've bagged all three of those damn key cards. Yep. So where do we find Crash? How do I get up there? How do I get up there? There doesn't seem to be a way. Right, well... We go back here. So we haven't been to the right. Have we not? Oh, I can't go to the right. Oh. Um, so where's Crash's office? What have I missed? There's something I've missed. Oh, that. Okay. Let's go to... Well, thanks. Didn't take him long to open fire, did it? Anyway. Right. Get one of them out of the way. Deaded in a minute. There. Well, no. Good night. Mate, can't go in there. Can't go in there, obviously. So, the admin building. Oh, the admin offices. Nothing here. I'm gonna have a quick scout. Plenty of dudes. 
Absolutely no turrets. How annoying. I could definitely use some turrets. Oh, loot. <laughs> Remember when combat was hard? I do. Oh, the scrapes I got into. The scrapes I completely failed to get out of. Now, when he turns around... Surprise him. Ow. 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 <laughs> there we go. He's good. Oi. Oi. Stop it. I said, stop it. There. Oh, I got a shockwave. Don't turn around. There's no one here. Okay. There's a door. Is there nothing else I can loot? No? 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 A hiding place. Right, door. All that noodles. Uh, safe. Data cube. Ah, spammer. Now that's one I've not got. Hmm. Might as well use my data cube as well. So I now have a skill point that will enhance the healing of healing items and I'm not really using them anymore. Um, that's really all I can do is I can improve my weapon recoil but I'm not really using weapons either. So, I don't know. I don't know. Not much. Not much. I don't know. I'll save it for now. I don't think it's all that useful. You can hack the admin servers. Carefully. No enemies. There's one. It won't last long. Right, what have we... Oh, black holes. I haven't seen them for a while. Oh, cool. Coffee machine installation and bean choice. Why is that so well protected? Oh, well. Dear James, just to inform you, the new coffee machine is expected this coming Monday at 10am. Installation will take approximately one hour. I'm told it will not be a noisy process, so it shouldn't disturb. Please can I remind you to select from the list of coffee beans in the brochure I circulated last week's. We can alternate bean choices on a monthly basis, but I need to know what to order first. Huh. It's not... It's not that evil of an organisation so far, is it? Seems that they look after their employees. Go away. Go away. Okay, that was foolish. I was careless, but... Uh, he's gone now. Thank you. 
He's gone. Nothing else? Is this an email about an ice cream machine? Policy change company devices to stay on site from crash to staff. Dear staff, following the uncovery of our new high threat security exploit, we have updated our policy for staff connection to Redwood Watts email servers when off the premises. You will no longer be able to access email when off site. Please allow me to reiterate that our policy on zero work related communication when off site still stands. We thank you for helping us to prevent data theft. Dear valued Redwood Watts staff member, this is a reminder to please RSVP for next month's togetherness event, the staff and family's trip to Dino World. Please use the RSVP function in the invitation circulated last week. Fondest regards, etc., etc. These are such a nice company to work for. We were led to believe that they're quite evil. It's, um... Right. Hey! Right. Just pop through. There. That is such an effective weapon now. Look at my focus. I'm almost dead. Ellie to Mitchell. Hi Mitch, not seen you around for a while. Hope all is well. I was thinking about Friday evening. If you have no plans, perhaps we could go out? I could really do with forgetting science for an evening, I can tell you. From Mitchell to Ellie. Hey Ellie! Amazing! I was actually writing to ask you out when your mail arrived. Man, this world of ours is so full of beautiful mysteries, sure. Friday would be perfect. I'll pick you up at 7.30. Then he died. It. Hmm. Well. So what sinister email do we have up here? Got some XP. Just some XP, there's no email at all. My focus is very low, I'm going to have to be very careful. Ah. Oh. Right, we're almost through to level 2. Poppity pop, 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 pop. Those things can be dangerous. Oof, because they're very unpredictable. Well, they're not unpredictable, they're just... They're just fast. And you never know if you've got them all. Right, what's this? Type 3 removal request from Jeffrey Boss to Mitchell. Mitchell, following an alert from Owen Dial, it's with some regret that I must ask you to carry out a Type 3 removal of Tom Scott, Senior Data Analyst. I had a look at his calendar and was thinking this weekend would be best. Perhaps Friday evening at the Margot? My thanks as ever. Certainly, sir. I have consulted Scott's calendar. I would prefer to conduct the operation on Saturday. His transaction history on that day shows plenty enough regularity for me to pick a suitable place for the removal. Please let me know that if that is in any way a problem, otherwise consider it done. Okay, that's a little more sinister than the other emails. Just a smidge. Just a smidge. Damn it. Damn it. Not a problem. I'll just wait for my uh, my focus to go up to its natural minimum. I don't know why I don't just use this actually. Silly me. 
Silly, silly me. Right then. Look out for the turret. Where was it? Actually, where is it? Where did that turret go? Okay. Privacy query from Tom Scott to Owen Dial. Dear Owen, I was going through the projected node maps for Pulse GSV2 release. In all honesty, what I'm seeing makes me a little uncomfortable, especially considering the high confidentiality of our work, meaning the public has no say in what we're doing. Basically, my concerns are for privacy. If GSV2 is a success, as we are all sure it will be, data flow through the node maps is going to be incredibly centralised. I mean, our company will have access to all major communication channels and, from what I can see, pretty much every kind of data type. And with our decryption systems on top of that, I wanted to ask what safeguards we as a company have for abuse of our position. I think the sooner we address this, the better prepared we'll be to deal with privacy allegations when they come around. Looking forward to hearing your thoughts, Tom Scott. From Owen to Tom, dear Tom, that's why we hired you. It's great you're thinking outside the box like this, and I am so glad to hear you share the same concerns I've had since I began work on this project. Let me tell you what they told me. Senior management have been working closely with government agencies to ensure all information flow is managed ethically and within respect to personal privacy both here and abroad. Our work is completely transparent within all layers of the government's high confidentiality channels. I hope this allays your concerns. Thank you again, Tom. Hmm. That's why they removed him. He was... He was onto something. Right. Okay. And you? These things are practically harmless. Well, they're not harmless, they're just not dangerous. Go away. And you can all go away as well. Right, nice black hole you've got there. What's it protecting? There's nothing here, it's just... Just four thingies protecting a black hole. Weird. Right. Another one of these things. They're a bit rubbish, aren't they? Yeah. This is going to be a trap. Yeah, I knew that would happen, so... Swiggy! Ha! Ho ho ha ho! Right, you're dead. As are you. And you. You protecting any money? No, you're not protecting any money. Nor are you. Right, let's get down. Yeah. I want to go back this way. Because I want to attack. Oh, careless. Careless, careless. Yeah, those things are harmless when you know how to deal with them. Oh, it was just cut through to here. Yeah, it's okay. What else? Someone's going to attack. <laughs> Whee! Is everything gone? Everything's gone. Right. Good. 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 
and get my focus recharge back. Right. Have I done everything I can do here? Come on. Yeah. Yeah. Right, those guys down there. I pressed the wrong button. Careless, careless, careless. Careless, careless, careless. Oh, he knows there's someone here. He's about to forget. Just like that. Oops, sorry, did I strangle you? Right, research level. What have we got? There's a tunnel. I might investigate that. Don't like this. Ah, right. A harmless person. At least for now. Anything this way? There's a long way away, but... Right, okay. Let's talk to this person. Hello. I'm sorry, I don't believe we've met. No. Good day, friend. Ian? You... You didn't. Um... Hi, I'm Dex, you're Ellie, right? Good to meet you. Likewise. Um... Look, I I'm terribly sorry, and I don't mean to be rude, but visitors are generally not permitted here. This is a high security facility, you understand. Uh, Ian, could you check our friend here is not lost? Oh, I'm lost. Clearance database check. Our friend does not appear on any of the authorized personnel lists, but I do not believe she is lost, Ellie. Right. Um. Do I start with this? Uh. I think I'd do this one. But I want to do this one. Did you just call the robot, Ian? What I call my assistant is of no importance. Right now, I would like to know who you are and what you are doing here. If I try to convince, I might fail. So I'm just going to come straight with the video. Ellie, you need to see this. You really, really need to see this. What? What are you talking about? What is this video? <gasps> Ian? Where did you... Oh no! Oh my... Is that Mitchell? What are they doing? Do you have any idea why they would kill him? What reason could there possibly be for this? It's insane! Ian wasn't a threat to anyone. I just don't understand. He asked questions about what happened with the Kether program. What we were trying to accomplish now. It ruffled some feathers, but I never thought... Oh, my. They must have been afraid he'd quit or something. But this... This! To have him executed! And Mitchell! How dare he! To even look me in the eyes, never mind... Oh, I'm going to be sick. Shit! That unworthy, conniving, murderous shit! I will pass on your regards when I see him. I just can't. I can't let him get away with this. I trusted him. Shit. Oh, Ellie, 
You fool! I never saw past my nose. Exactly what they look for in an employee, I'm sure. You're here to stop everything, right? To stop GSV2. It's right. Murderers shouldn't be let anywhere near that sort of power. I'll help you. What do you need? I need your key card to access the GSV2 server room. Yes. Here's my card. You'll need the other two cards to get in there. I... I should probably leave now. Oh, just... No, I, I definitely need to leave. The shits! That's your favourite word, isn't it? And then she vanished. Hello, Ian. From Ellie to Mitchell. Hi, Mitchell. I heard you and your men managed to catch some intruders the other night. Good job. I used to wonder why we needed such a strong security force around, but it seems you guys really are necessary. I still don't understand why so many people try to sneak into a company like ours. Anyway, keep up the good work. I'm glad I feel safe at work. And it's thanks to you. From Mitchell. Hey, Ellie. Yeah, don't you worry about that. It's my job to keep an eye out. And in case you're wondering, most of the guys we catch are stupid punks who lost a bet and are trying to impress their friends or junkies who believe they can steal some of our research equipment and make a quick buck. Still, pretty unstable people overall, so don't take any chances if you meet one. Run and sound the alarm. I'll be there right away. Well, she didn't run and sound the alarm. She just... She stopped for a chat. Anyway. Doesn't appear to be anything else here. Come pick a lock. Laser gun ammo. Wish I had a laser gun. Right, I saw a thing. Ooh. What does that do? Oh, it's timed. Can I jump down while I'm here? No, I can't. Well, that doesn't leave a lot of time, does it? I can't do a hack on it. How am I supposed to get down quick enough? Maybe I can hack that. No. No, I can't. I can't jump down. So how how would I actually get down fast enough? And the speed she crawls this is just not gonna happen. So it looks like something I want doesn't it? Well there doesn't seem to be any way to get to it. Very disappointing. Oh well. That is all I've got time for, so I'm going to end this episode here. If you've enjoyed it, don't forget to like and subscribe and join me next time. And we'll carry on exploring Redwood Watts. See if we can take the place down. So until then, thank you very much for watching. And goodbye.